Hi YouTube. I had several people ask me about what I am doing for homeschooling curriculum this year. So this video is going to just be what I'm doing for the three kids, Charity, John, and Peter. In past years, I've stuck very closely to the Abeka curriculum. And this year, I just decided to step out of that. I'm hoping that my excitement and the, will translate into the kids being really excited about these books. I had a lot of fun shopping for them, and let me show you what I got. First of all, English was such a drag last year, and I don't know why. It just, it, it seemed like it was too intense for the kids and intense for me, and if I didn't keep up with it or if I missed a day and let the kids do it on their own, I felt so behind and I just, I didn't get it. So this year we're going to something totally different. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Life of Fred books. He does math, but um, I discovered he also has a language arts curriculum for middle school and high school. And this is going to consist of four books here. These are hardcover books and they cover pretty much all the basics of English. Each book, I believe, is 19 lessons, 19 chapters. So that's pretty much 19 lessons. You do maybe one or two lessons a week. So it's not an intense program, but it really helps cover um, all the basics of grammar, which is where I thought our kids really could use some improvement when we did our Iowa test. That's where they seem to be a little on the lower end of the testing. And I want to improve on that. On top of that, my kids have read the math books. They absolutely love these. These are hilarious. My kids just find this hilarious and it really, this method works really well with them, particularly with their math. So I'm hoping that they will have the same excitement and enthusiasm with their English. And when they saw these in the mail, they were so excited. They're like, can we read them now? And I went, no, you have to wait for school. <laughs> so anyways, the kids are itching to start school because they really want to dig into these books. Vocabulary isn't necessarily one of those things that that is totally required, but it's really a good skill to have. I've never used the Worldly, Wordly Wise curriculum, but I looked at the reviews online and it seemed like just about the right speed for the kids. So Charity and John will both be using the Wordly Wise 3000, and this is book number six that they're gonna be working through. I don't have the book in this room, but I'm also gonna be using uh, word roots with them, which is just a basic um, study of really simple Latin terms, prefixes, suffixes, and I'm hoping that might even help with Charity's spelling because she's definitely weak in her spelling. History I'm not really concerned about because the kids read all the time and read so much that I'm not, I don't think a formal history curriculum is going to be needed. I'm going to um, keep track of what they're reading and encourage them to branch out and do a general um, overview of uh, you know American history but I'm not really worried about a curriculum for that. The one thing we hadn't covered though is a study of the United States Constitution and I found this book and it's Foundations for Freedom. It's a study of the United States um, Constitution. Also along with history they always want you to teach some form of geography Again, I'm not really overly concerned about this. My kids love studying maps. In fact, John and Charity's room's walls are covered with maps. So I'm not worried about that. But again, I just wanted something to be able to go to and have the kids learn a little bit and maybe cover those things that they're not getting from looking at a map. So I found this book, Discovering the World of Geography. And this is for seventh and eighth grade. And this is by Mark Twain Media Publishing. And this book, which is really cool. Once you buy it, you have the ability to, and the license to copy the pages out of it and use it for all of your students as long as this is a single classroom, which homeschooling is a single classroom. So this is gonna be reusable for the other kids. They're pretty much just basic worksheets and one, you know, one, two page worksheets you copy out and decide what you want your kids to do for the day. Again, super skinny book, just kind of reinforces that whole history, geography, map thing. And I thought it was, it looked fun. And I love the fact that I can use this for the other kids as they're coming up. The next book is Steps to Good Grammar. This is 169 exercises, lessons, and tests. 
I am not going to be working through this page by page. That's not my intent for this. The intent is to just pull out certain pages and have the kids work on that for a day. This is also a reusable material book and I will be able to hopefully use this with the other kids if I decide I like it. But this was to kind of reinforce what we were really lacking last year in the Abeka. It just seemed like it went right over our heads. So this might seem like it's a lot in these departments, but this was really where the kids were probably the weakest was their English. So that's my hope this year is to see a big improvement on their test scores. For science, I had a hard time choosing a curriculum because the kids, again, read so much that I really wanted something that was just, um, it was biblically based and something they could read. There wasn't a lot of homework with it, but just could read. And I took the splurge. It was one of my more expensive purchases for our curriculum. And it's this giant textbook. This is the one they're going to be doing, Exploring Creation with General Science. And I'll tell you, when this came in the mail, I had no idea it was going to be this big. It is literally like a college textbook. I ended up buying this from My Father's World New. And I got along with that. Um, My Father World put together um, a curriculum plan. So that came with this as well as a multimedia CD disc to help with some of the experiments. I'm hoping all this will really help the kids. For John, he has a love-hate relationship with writing papers and anything to do with writing. And he is in sixth grade, so his big thing is going, this is the last year that the writing is going to be a requirement. So what I found for him is, it's called Jump In. A workbook for reluctant and eager writers and this is put out also by Apologia and it looked like something that might be his speed it's not it didn't seem like it was overly intimidating pretty much you read the skill a page or two and then turn the page and then you start writing down what you're supposed to write I'm hoping this will kind of help him over the hump he can write and he can do a really good job when he puts his mind to it. But again, it's one of those things that's like pulling teeth with him. Charity's a huge, great writer. John just, just doesn't enjoy that. For our math curriculum, I chose Saxon 8-7. Both Charity and John are going to be going into this together. I did Saxon when I was um, in high school and I didn't have a problem with it. I kind of enjoyed the simplicity of it. So I'm hoping that the kids will also enjoy this. Charity will be doing um, this far above Ruby's. This is supposed to be an independent um, high school curriculum. I bought this online and it pretty much is a Bible-based um, home ec type of focus for high school and girls. I don't know that I, I want to solely put all my eggs into that basket but there was a lot of good references on that a lot of good recommendations for books and ideas so I'm going to be taking some of that and incorporating it into our child's into charities education this year our health curriculum is just pretty much me talking about what I do at the squad I also want to bring them to some of my um, squad trainings that would be appropriate to, for kids, such as cardiac issues, stroke, and just basic first aid and same things like that. I think that would be far more valuable than anything that I can teach. And we are always talking about health and bodies, and I'm really not worried about that. And that dialogue happens all the time in our house. So a formal health curriculum is not going to be happening, but we talk about it all the time. So that covers all of the books that I'm going to be using for Charity and John and that's for going to be for sixth and seventh grade. For Peter he's going into second grade and what I don't have any of his books here with me. Pretty much we're going to be going down the same path of, of Abeka that I did with Charity and John. I was really happy with Abeka for the elementary grade so I'm going to be sticking with the Abeka program the only thing that I will be stepping out of the Abeka is the spelling. I'm going to be using a modern curriculum press. It's called Spelling Workout. 
and I'm hoping that that might help him with his reading. So that's all of the curriculum that I'm going to be using for the three oldest kids this year. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, YouTube.